don't really have the best supports. They can keep the Shadow Fiend alive, but they can't help him secure his farm this one to leveled and that kind of rotation just it's having no impact last game too like yeah lasso gonna come in our otk gets pulled into the witch doctor but here comes your chronosphere zhao is gonna have a lot of damage up and on top of this one can use the ultimate if he needs to not oh just barely enough the last arc lightning gets the kill Arteezy trying to rotate in but the conch shot gonna slow him down and our otk has a time walk will be able to escape. Nice kill. It's a faceless void with three points in jump and ten magic six charges. That's a difficult... Oh, burning. Omni Slash. <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> okay. Couldn't even grave. No time to react. The TP's coming in without an Omni Slash. This is danger, but this is where you need that lasso. S4 may just be able to napalm down Lan M. Double, double raise coming. Easy raises. I mean, that is, it's a nice build from uh, Shadow Fiend. I've, I've seen a lot of Shadow Fiends go non-defensive builds, or even like a blink into a BKB. Oh no. This time RTZ actually does throw the ultimate. He solo kills off Yao 8. Oh my gosh, and Burning now in trouble has just enough, well, has the mana for the Blade Fury after popping the magic stick, and Maldic not going to do too much with the... Oh no, things... Oh, bottom lane. Uh oh. They've gone in with a blink lasso, and RTK. Brought down by the Bristle in tandem with the Batrider, so... Gotta be careful about how much you give secret. Have you seen Bat to the Future? Is that what he said? <laughs> I think so. I've not heard that line yet in, in all the games that I've casted with Bat. I didn't know that was a line. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a rare one. When you think you've heard it all... Well, when ba I guess, yeah, that's when Bat finds it. They're gonna walk right into Zhao 8, blink last, so... He has not a swap. A Swap immediately used, and S4 is under the tower, gets the nice Chronosphere, catches out three, Puppy in the middle of it, Kuro gonna be the next one target, actually Arteezy gets off the mech now, Kuro still getting low, RTK takes a raise or two, Death Ward as well, RTK likely to go down to the Maldic unless he gets some insane backtrack, the earned damage there as well, but a two for one trade, good Chronosphere coming out, and Zhao Wei being kept alive with some nice defensive play. Lan Am dies to the last second there. Zeus now going to turn around. The Omni Slash coming to play as well. atizi has got no mech left. Yeah, Burning going to get one more kill. Needs to find, well, something a bit more as far as movement speed if he wants to keep up to the Bristleback. But a 4 for 2 trade in the end. And Man, that... Great fight. Yeah. You know, that wouldn't have happened if Batrider's day daytime vision wasn't nerfed. <laughs> it's a level 1 swap. Like can go for that Shadow Blade build that he likes on his Jug. It just it just causes so much havoc around the map, especially when Shadowfiend has this build. He doesn't have bottom lane. Zai gets Mystic Flare. There's your Zeus ult with the Chronosphere as well. And well, Zai's farm farming troubles continue. I remember when Faceless Void was super popular. Alliance tried to experiment a lot with Bristleback versus uh, versus the Faceless Void, and they would just try and tank him up. Oh, ROTK got caught out, lassoed on the bottom lane. Oh, ROTK, will he get off a time walk in time? Doesn't look like it. Top lane, it's burning, battling it out with Arteezy, but not a fight he's really winning here. It does have an Omni Slash soon. Going to pop the Healing Ward and look to maybe re-goose, but the TP out from Arteezy will keep it. Be claimed by, bur by burning on the Jug. Chronosphere is available. They go in looking for Arteezy. He gets the BKB off. No damage output to follow this up. They're just going to leave him inside. The Omni Slash is there though. Arteezy gets graved up. He blows up, burning on the jug. Perfectly timed Requiem of Souls. They're going to lose Void as well. Zhao Wait looking to TP out. Lamb will not be so lucky. Three for nothing. They get the tower, but a disaster in the mid lane. That was one of the worst Chronospheres. I thought he was just going to Chrono the Bristle back. And it, it probably would have just been better if he Chronoed and killed the Bristle. Well, but... they didn't uh, They didn't have Mystic Flare too. I yeah. don't know exactly. Playstyle and. We'll see how things pan out here from Big God. That gives Secret a bit of an edge. Roshan has respawned, but... It's such a crucial fight to lose before Roshan. At least they get the tower, but I, and the, at the end of the day, that's certainly not worth it. Now they have BKB up on Zai and no BKB in sight for ROTK. He is almost has his uh, Mithril Hammer, and here they go. Oh, they, they Zeus ult. They have Vision inside, although it didn't do any damage, but can they actually get a good Chronosphere into a fight? S4 getting some vision here. The Dazzle Weave also being used. ROTK going to lose a lot of his armor off of this. They still want to work onto Roshan. Here comes your Void Chronosphere. Hits Puppy as well as Zai. That's a decent Chronosphere if they can kill off your Dazzle. No Graves to worry about. Now Kuro, his ultimate not getting cancelled. Burning going to go down to the Death Ward. He's Blade Fearing and the Omni Slash did not do what was needed. Lasso going to pull back Zhao Wei. Down will go your Zeus. Unless that Force up out can save him. But with a Flame Break and the Earn damage, no Blink available for him. ROTK and Ice Ice just hiding on the side as Arteezy will look to finish off Roshan. 
Man, one bad fight, whole entire tournament. He switches it up often. Uh, the Blink Yules, the Mech, the BKB, Shadow Blade occasionally. Uh, Manta, if he needs it. They're gonna smoke back. ROTK could be in some trouble here. The Blink Lasso is there. No swap available. Zeus will ultimate, but it's too late for ROTK. No Chronosphere available. The Time Walk out may be enough to get him back to safety. Are they gonna swap him out? They do to the high ground. He's now gonna earn himself up. Zaya wants to chase, but instead gonna go for Lamb on the Vengeful Spirit. Witch off to ultimate on the high ground. Now it looks like Zaya with a BKB happy to be nice and aggressive here. They've taken out, they did end up killing off the Void there. Oh dear, double buyback now from Big God. Triple buyback as they lose the Skyrath Mage as well. Arteezy looking for the Requiem, gets Chronosphere, but where's the damage? He got the BKB off. Omni Slash will finish off Arteezy, but he's going to respawn in a second. Zai gets graved up. Clutch play from Puppy. Zai's still alive for the time being. They don't have the damage to finish him off until finally Zeus does it, but three buybacks, a dieback from your Skyrath Mage. Jug can't do anything. He's got no Omni Slash and Big God are dying in their own fountain here by the tier fours. Lamb gonna go down to the Maledict if he's not careful. They don't even care if they kill him off at this point. Not enough damage. They actually swap into the fountain. Kuro, he dies there. Someone unnecessarily. Lamb will survive. Big God, very expensive hold. Yeah, they lose like six heroes there. Oof. All of a sudden, secret topping the net worth chart in multiple areas. It all started thing. with that ROTK Chrono in the mid. Oh. It, I mean, it was on his shoulders this game, and I, I, I'm not sure if you realize the importance of his Chronosphere as that game. They have to be full Scotty, realizing that you can't really be buying back and expecting to win the game at this point. He's got to just use what money he can, and... Uh, the Chrono is make or break here. It, yeah. It's you win the fight during the Chrono, or you lose... I feel like game. to go even more important than the Chronosphere is maybe the Omni Slash, because that's uh, so much of their damage. Blink Lasso to start things off. It's going to be onto Lamb on the Vengeful Spirit. They try and bring him down first. The Chronosphere comes out only onto S4. Witch Doctor Ultimate onto Bird. There's your Omni Slash. Cancels the Witch Doctor Ultimate. Grave comes out as well. The Omni Slash gets no one. Buyback from Zeus as well as Vengeful Spirit. It looks like Burning going to go down. As said, no buyback for your Juggernaut. And with Lamb going down as well to follow this up, that's a dieback. An ultra kill for our TZ. It looks all over for Big God. ROTK calls GG. Team Secret advanced to the top three and where they'll take on evil geniuses for a spot in the grand finals. Not bad for a casual team, though. Not bad at all. Congratulations to Big God. Fourth place. Some mistakes here and there. I, I mean, they played really well in games one and two. This game, not so much. Uh, I guess Lanham played really well, but overall their performance has been better than expected and looks to be the next powerhouse. Well, we'll see what happens Casual, to this team. It's, it's, quote unquote. it's hard to know what's going to happen with this team if they stick together, if they go their different ways, some of them joining the big organization. I think it's safe to say that all of them will keep playing, though. Yes. Uh, I, that's, even, that's even the new face, Ice Ice, likely to be one of those players that some of these big teams may look to pick up. Because some of these other teams, your LGDs, your IGs, you always need